one of those little fishing cabins is ours. So darn cute. Too bad I'm freezing to death. Look at this gorgeous dog that somebody has here. Hey, he's got, look at me. He's got blue eyes. We're at Anchor Brig for three nights and this is the reception area only. So helpful. Our cabin is Skipper's Stua. Our little fisherman's cabin. Anchor Brig are all converted fishermen's cottages. Here in Svalbard, the sun reappeared on January 6th, just right above the horizon. We are 221, and just look at our little fisherman's cabin. Oh, how very, very nice this is. How cute. Each and every cabin is like this. We can go fishing for cod right out here. So, our bedroom, a uh, little fishing motif. This is where we are. The hours for breakfast. The restaurant. There's another unit upstairs, B. I am so glad that we didn't have to carry anything upstairs. It's time for breakfast at Anchor Brig. Bent the food very nicely. Everything's all laid out. I don't think there are that many people here right now, which is why they've got just small amounts of everything out. Many different kinds of cheeses. I, You know, I have to Google and see w what exactly is brown cheese. I've tasted it, and it tastes just like ordinary cheese. different cold meats or sliced meats, of course salmon, and the breakfast room. I'll have to tell you all about their industry here. Svalbard is all about cod fishing and right now, January through April, is when the cod arrive from the Barren Sea to spawn. They say that people were fishing in this area as long as 6,000 years ago. The world's largest cod catches are made along the Lufatan banks. The catch varies each year, but usually ranges between 25 to 50 million kilos. Unbelievable. All along this part of the Norwegian coast are the little fishing cabins. This is the original cabins that are over 200 years old. Originally used for fishing, fish manufacturing to catch the cod, dry it, salt it. 